is accepted by all for all. The people of Armenia want the freedom to determine their own lives, their own future, in a way that is consistent with democratic principles and also consistent with Armenian culture, Armenian history, Armenian traditions. The Armenian economy has seen great success and double-digit growth over the past six years, as well as a significant drop in the poverty level. Our assistance programs have contributed at least in part to the success, and I look forward to helping to do more to ensure that the economy grows and that Armenian children, Armenians, Armenia's future, have the opportunities that they deserve. We've always had a strong relationship with the Armenian people. In the early 1900s, when the Armenian Republic first gained independence, President William, the Wilson, excuse me, established strong ties with the new state. And when Armenia was reborn in 1991, the United States was among the first to recognize Armenia's independence, and the very first to establish an embassy in Yerevan. Over the past 17 years, the U.S. has provided close to $2 billion in assistance and materially improved the lives of many Ameri uh, Armenians. And Armenia has provided significant assistance to the United States, providing troops in Kosovo and Iraq, and most recently, providing safe haven and humanitarian assistance with the recent events um, in Georgia. We have a robust relationship with Armenia, and the United States will always be a strong and committed partner to Armenia. It is a partnership that is important to both countries as we move forward in these challenging times. As I begin my journey, I want to thank my family, because none of this would have happened without them. My parents raised me to believe in freedom, to believe in justice, to believe in America, and to believe in myself. My mother, Nadia, is my very best friend and an inspiration in every way. To this day, even at my age, when I have a problem, particularly an interpersonal problem, uh, I, that, that happens. <laughs> I, you know, I ask myself, you know, what would my mother do? And you know, I can't think of a greater tribute than that. My father, who died four years ago, was a man of great principle. And his values and love of politics continue to guide me. He would have been very proud to be here and I know he's with us in spirit. Unfortunately, my brother and I couldn't make it today. But since he's not here, I can share with you a little story that <laughs> he's not going to like. <laughs> for, um, and he was very concerned that you know, this Foreign Service thing wasn't really going to work out for me. And uh, you know, so for the first 18 or so years, he would you know, keep on asking me, so when are you going to quit? When are you going to get a real job? And, so on. and I can see my broker here, and he's asking me the same question. <laughs> so, um, but my brother has come around, and uh, he is my biggest fan, and I'm sorry he can't be here today. But I am really happy that he sent his daughter Zoe, our star, to represent him. She's in the eighth grade and is already a leader in her class. Everyone else in this room has helped me in some way over the years, and again, I wouldn't be standing here if it weren't for all of you. You've been friends, mentors for both, and I thank you for your support, your friendship, and your inspiration. I close by inviting all of you to come for a visit to Armenia. <laughs> Three years ago, I extended a similar invitation to come to Kyrgyzstan. And I've got to be honest, I was a little disappointed with the turning. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody has a second chance. Um, and um, I know, although I haven't been there myself, but I've heard from many, many sources that it is a beautiful country. We know it's an historic country. Um, there's lots of good food, as I'm yeah. starting to find out. And the plane ride is about six hours shorter. <laughs> so, um, no excuses. I, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. And um, once again, thank you so much, everybody, for your support over the years and for coming here today. Thank you.